this is Andrea here, and we are on part six of our 8x8 eight eight mini album using the Once Upon a Time stack by DCWV. So let's get started on our page. All right, so I had this idea in my head. I started cutting up paper, and I thought, hmm, Am I going to make this work or not? So, first, let's go ahead and get what we think will work for sure. And I think this one here is going to go down here. And it's going to be a pocket. A top-loading pocket. So, let's go ahead and tape it up. And get it down and the tag that I'm putting in it is four and a half by six and a half now I'll give you the measurement of the pocket itself just a moment Then we want to put this. We want to use wet glue for the bottom. You don't want to use tape. All right, so what is the measurement of this particular pocket? So I'm unfolding the sides. Oh, it is seven and seven eighths. So seven and seven eighths by four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, one, two, three, three, three eighths by four and three eighths. I need one of those rulers that goes by the eighths <laughs> underneath there. This is just lines. They make a ruler that actually has the numbers for each one of these lines. I need one of those. Okay, so there's your measurement for that. Let's get our bone folder. Grab our glue, because we're going to need it. Just want to press this down. There we go. Get our pokey tool. Remove the backing of the tape because it won't stick if you don't. All right. This particular pocket is not as wide as this page. And I'll show you why in a just a second. I want to get it to the right about a quarter of an inch away from the fold line and then then right up to the edge of the page Alright. 
now I can put my glue on the um, bottom here and I didn't want to do this because there's a I'm gonna show you here there is a magnet on this end here and it's really lumpy so if I had pressed this down before getting this side pressed down it this side would have lifted eventually so you want to make sure to try your best to catch that um, if not you know it's not going to kill your mini album but you just should be aware of it all right so that is down rag clean up our mess just like that all right that's nice and flat <clears throat> and then I have a flip for the bottom here and the flip is going to lay on top of this pocket about a half an inch up from the bottom of the page so it's going to be right there okay so let's get some tape on that we'll glue it down liquid glue okay and just start at the bottom of your page here get that edge to edge and then you can lay your flip down with no problems there we go a little bit all right so that is how we do that now we've got the flip and then I have another flip and this flip is going to go on top of this flip with this score line at the bottom of the page. Let's tape that up. Okay, and both of these flips are the exact same and they are four by seven. So those are four by seven flips. Okay. Okay, remember you're gonna face this downward this way so just take it to the edge of the page where the flip other flip is and lay it down on top of that flip just like that so now that's going to fold down just like that and then it will extend up like that. Ok, 
Okay, so we need a magnet on this flip here, and then a magnet for here. Let's grab our magnets. So that means we need four magnets. Good magnets. All right. Get some tape here. Okay, I want to put this magnet on the outside flip. Take another magnet, put it on top. Oops. Yeah. Probably be better if you could see what I'm doing. <laughs> then we take a little piece of tape and that's going to go on the top magnet. Then remove the backing of this one. Fold it back up and lay it down. All right. Then we'll get a piece of tape. We'll cover that one up. Keep it in place. Okay. Now we need a magnet for this side. top get our other magnet place that on top and you see it just grabs it right away that is a heavy-duty magnet Let's see. little piece of tape press that down remove the backing Fold that back over and press down. Now we can lift that back up and place a piece of tape on it. All right, and just when you think we're done, we're not. <laughs> okay, so now we've got this done. Now we have this flip here. This flip is, I believe this is going to come out to about 12, no, 11. This, one, this flip is 11 inches long by 4 inches wide. It's scored at one half and then scored at 7 and 1 quarter. And it's going to leave you with this little flip here. So you'll have a big flip and a little flip. And that's going to go on this side here. And I'm going to cut it down just a, a hair. Because I think if I don't, it's going to hit this flip a lot. So let's go ahead and cut that down by a hair. So instead of four, it's going to be uh, three and three quarters. So now it's three and three quarters by 11 inches. Okay, 
that does make me feel better. I'd much rather have this gap to give you a peekaboo here than um, it hit this page all the time. Okay, so let's get this taped up and ready to go. Ready to go. Before I tape that down, we're going to need two more magnets because this is going to connect to this. So. Okay. All right. And we're going to put it on the flip part. I'm going to move it in just a little bit. I don't want it right up to the edge because that's, that's just going to cause problems later. Right. Pick that up. Press that down. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now we can remove the backing of this tape to get this put down. glue on that. Okay, and you want to bring this one up to the edge of this page here. It's okay to go over the pocket. That is not a problem. And you want to be about an eighth of an inch in between the top and this in this flip okay all right flip it open press down because you got that pocket underneath Now, we're going to need a magnet to hold this down. We, look, we use a lot of magnets <laughs> in our mini albums, <laughs> which is why it's so great to get them for so cheap on eBay. Okay, go ahead, get our tape. Too high up. Little piece. Take the tape backing off. Press her down. Ugh. It's not too bad. 
here is where our fold line is. So that's not too bad. Just make sure to put a little extra tape on there so it doesn't move on you after you start getting your um, paper on here. Okay. Perfect. All right, so guess what we get to do now? We get to number these babies. <laughs> so we have one, right? Two, three, four, five. That's five areas that need to be covered. Then we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we have our tag that goes into this pocket here, so that's ten, this will be number eleven, because it's a bifold, that's twelve, thirteen, and fourteen for the back. Now, if you want, you could just cover the front and leave the inside and back blank. That's up to you. I want to go ahead and cover it this time. Uh, but this goes into this pocket. There we go. Let's close that. Stand her up. Let's see. Is that too high up? Do we need to cut this down? We need to cut this down by a quarter of an inch. Okay, so that means it's going to be, instead of six and a half, so instead of six and a half, it's gonna be six and a quarter, because we've gotta cut straight down a quarter of an inch. I can do that by pulling my blade out. No, it doesn't work that way. All right, there is my quarter. That looks like half. Let me just mark a quarter of an inch so I don't uh, overcut it. There we go. That makes sense. I knew that looked a little big. All right. <clears throat> now let's make sure that fits in our, our pocket better. Right back. Okay, so the dogs are done howling. They're singing to the full moon. No, I don't know if it's a full moon or not. <laughs> they just like to sing. Okay, our our uh, bifold tag fit in perfect. So I just had a quarter of an inch too big. So there you have it, and that fits in there perfect. What I do want to do before. I start decorating with paper, I want to punch a half circle on this here. So I'm using my um, 7 eighths of an inch. Sorry about all the shaking. 7 eighths of an inch punch um, by EK Success. I don't care what kind of punch you got, just make sure it's not overly big because you want it to at least you know equalize with the size that you have now you can do this now or you can wait cover the page and then punch 
I wanted to go ahead and do this now so that when I go to cover this page, I can leave a little black trim where the cut is going to be. All right, so here's that. Let's go ahead and stand her up. Turn it to face the back end of me so I can see here where that cut is going to be. Because, like I said, I don't want it to be like a whole circle. I only want it to be about half. And I want it to be close to the middle of the page. So let's see how well we did. Let's see. I don't think we did too bad. Let's see. Oh, hey, that's pretty nice. I like that. Okay, so we did it. That worked out great. I can put that away now. And I'm going to pick paper. So let's pick paper. That's the fun part. All right, so we've got a lot of flips. We've got the tag. Um, these are longer pieces. Only really just this one short piece, the rest is long. Because those are long and these are long. Let's see what we got here. I think, wouldn't that be cute? Wouldn't this be cute if I could make it fit? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try on that. So this is going to be, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> but what I'm gonna try to do is get this circle to be right here in the middle. Yes. All right, so that means I'm gonna have to measure it out. Uh, it should just be the same size as my paper. So here we go. This is seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. So if I flip this over first, let me see, do I want to cut this off? You know, I have a second sheet, so if this gets cut into it, that's okay. Because I do have a second sheet. I could cut this. Let's see. Oh, I could cut that and this. Alright, so I'm going to cut this off and this off. And we're going to use it. We're just going to use it um, in a little bit. All right. So let's cut this strip off. Because I want to use this strip intact. And then I want to cut this strip off. So we've got these two strips we can use. And this is what you should be left with. Let's see. All right. So we have just a little. cut right here so let's get those two areas cut see how well we did there Look 
Okay, so we're getting there, folks. We got... We got it. So that we have about a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to trim both sides again down about a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, much better. Okay, now you can see your edges and where um, cuts need to go. Okay, so this is a flip over here. That's this, this is that small flip. So we are going to mark here and here for that small flip. So all of this is gonna get cut off right here. Now this is the other half of that flip. So we're gonna mark right next to this one here, leaving just a little bit of room. And then again here. And we're gonna lose this part and this part. Alright. And this is how you cut around an object that you want to have specifically on your page. So we're cutting off these two ends here. There we go. And we're still leaving these here because now that we've cut that off, we can go in and mark our, whoops, mark our sides. All right, so we have this. Yeah. All right. So this didn't cut straight, so I'm going to have to cut this because it didn't cut straight at all. All right, we're going to cut that right there, but right here, we're going to cut cross. This delineates this top half from the bottom half. Okay. So let's get that done first. Okay. Let's, let's just make sure that piece. Here's this piece. So that cut straight all the way to there. And this cut crooked. Which is, you know, okay, we'll fix it. But this is how this is going to look with this gap in the middle. And the gap on top. And then we have to cut the bottom on this side. Okay, cut that bottom and then fix this right here. Try to fix this. Pull it up. There we go. You can see where it's straight here, and then it went off crooked. There we go. Perfect. Now it's straight. And we have to cut this bottom part. See, I had it crooked again. 
User error. Perfect. This one is going to get cut because remember this is two pieces here so we have to cut here and here. Go ahead and do that. So this should fit here. instead of that side. Should be enough. Let's find out. Yeah. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So now that we have that part done, I think that looks wonderful. Now we can pick paper for the rest. Okay, so we know this goes with number eight. So make your eight. This is number six. And this is number one. All right, so we need inside of eight and number seven. And we know inside of eight will start from, we'll mark it right here so that we know when we go to measure from here to the score line, that's how much paper needs to go right here. And then we'll do number seven. So what's gonna be on the inside? Let's see, let's see. That's pretty. Oh, I love the unicorn. Now, see, here's another knight. That's pretty. Oh. Ooh, look at that dragon. Decisions, decisions. I really like the treasure map. But do I want to make it a focal point? Your focal point is what you put on the front. And then the insides are like the little gems around the, around the diamond. So your diamond is on top and your little gems are in the inside. So here's our diamond, and then when you go to flip these open, there's your little gems. Here, and then here. Hmm. What do we want as our little gems? Do I want this as a gem or a diamond? That is the question. This would be really pretty. I'm gonna go with this. All right. I may need both sheets because we have all those awkward spaces to cut. Don't put your pad of paper away completely. So here's our, we're gonna go with this. I'm gonna start with number seven. And we're gonna cut, get our paper here so we can get the right measurement. We just want this corner here 
I'm not trying to do a focal on this one because these are our little gems. All right, so an eighth of an inch all the way around. If you want, you can do a quarter of an inch, whatever you want. So that's for that one. Number seven. So number eight is going to be this corner here. And remember, we made this mark down here. So I can actually bring it up and over like this. Right. Cut there. And there is our score line here. I knew I was cutting too. I'm gonna have to cut this down. All right, cut it down a little bit. Okay. See if that works. Okay, much better. So this is eight. And we know eight has two pieces. So you could put on your black paper eight times two. That way you'll you won't forget. Okay. Now number one matches the same width and length as number two. So you can take your number one paper here and you can use it to give you a match. It doesn't always work out that way, but this is a flip that was cut all in one piece, so we know it's the same. So this should be able to fit right on to number two. So let's just double check because we can always cut it down if it's too big. It's too big, so we'll just cut it down. Yeah. All right. 
but it's not big by much, so that's good. We didn't waste any paper. This is for number two. And you're going to go forth and you're going to do the same for number three, four, and five. And then you're going to also do it for your tag. So you're going to do an eighth of an inch all the way around. And then we'll see you at the end. Okay, so now we've got everything inked up and stickified. And we can start putting these together. Going to need a little bit of glue, your pokey tool for removing the tape back, the tape backing, and just start putting it together. I need to get my little trash can here. There we go. I've tried. Uh, <laughs> try just like throwing stuff on the floor as I work because <laughs> that's I've seen other people do it and I can't do it for the life of me I just can't do it I have to have something to put those papers in um, because they are to be recycled okay remember this is all one piece so we got to make sure to get this facing the correct way. Okay. Anyway, I just can't throw it. I just can't throw it on the floor. I tried, it doesn't work for me. Okay. So that's seven, that goes on the inside. Eight, that goes there, times two, that goes on the inside, so here's the big eight. Let's see, let's go ahead and close that back up. There we go. like putting together a puzzle. Okay, and then this is the inside of eight, which goes here, and this goes there. So we need one, which is this one here. comes together like that. Okay, let's get this piece down. Remove the backing of our tape. We'll put a little bit of liquid glue in the center here, like we did on the front. Let's remove the backing of our magnet tape so we don't forget that. You guys have seen me in past videos where I've covered that completely up <laughs> with the paper on there. Okay. Come in. All right. 
perfect. And this is this inside eight. This goes here. Perfect. Now this paper is thicker than most of your standard um, paper, but it's not as thick as cardstock. So as you're working with this paper, you're um, you're going to find this out if you're working with this particular paper. All right. So that's five and four. This one is three, so let's put three yarn. Cut some of this off, because there's way too much of it. Same on the other side. Add a little bit of glue on here. Erase this glue here. All right. Let's go for number two. Again, we need to remove the backing of our tape for from our magnet. Ooh, we got a storm moving in, so if I get cut off, I promise I will pick it back up where we leave off uh, there we go okay I need to trim this it's a little overhang is there and remember it opens again here like so then we have five and four so we'll remove the tape off of our magnet and then off of our sheet always tell when I've run out of Xyron paper, <laughs> sticker paper, because I go back to my uh, handy dandy tape, double sided tape, which I highly recommend. That's what you start with. You don't go out and try and buy a Xyron uh, sticker station until you've, you know, if, if you're going to be making a lot of mini albums, then I would say highly recommend it. But if you're not sure and you're just getting started, stick with double-sided sticky tape 
there's red line, there's um, score tape, score the score pal um, tape, there's the tape I buy on eBay, which is double-sided sticky tape, and uh, stick with that unless you decide, hey, I think I'm going to make like more than 12 al albums a year. But you don't have to just use the Xyron for album making. You can use it for greeting cards and if you do the 12 by 12 pages for those big albums, you can use it for just about anything. Um, you can even run ribbon through it to get one side of the ribbon sticky. So it's it's not a bad machine to have. Just know that it's a can be expensive to keep up with the tape. With buying the tape. I tried to wait to order my tape from HSN because they always have it uh, basically two for the price of one is what you pay on HSN. So it's like 35 bucks for two 40 foot rolls. Whereas um, normally that's it, it's normally it's uh, $24.95 plus shipping for one roll. So you get a much better deal. Right. 12, 13, 14, and 11. That's because we have our card here. Oops, sorry for the shaking, folks. It's for here. Which means I still need to cut for 10 and 9. Which is all good, all good. That's all we got that extra pad of paper. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Yes. I'm going to use this one because I used it on one of these here. Here. So I should just go ahead and balance it out with this. Let me just double check that before I do that. I could use this one. I think I will because if someone wants to use these as journaling spots, they could even though we're going to map them for photos. Okay. Get these to over here. Get our paper cutter. I finally got my eraser tips. Come down. I'm looking at it from this point of view. We'll cut right there. Cut right there. I'm going to cut this straight down because then that'll give me two pieces, which is what I need here. So let's do that. one's going to go here. And let's go ahead and look at number nine. There we go. It's going to have to go like that because it's long. So 
So I'm going to cut here and here. in our scrap box. Put this one here. All right. Ink up those edges. done with that. Now we can tape it up and get it ready to rock and roll. And then we'll do the same on this one. I like to go around all four corners, or all four sides, I should say. And then I'll put wet glue down the center, but I don't oversaturate because that will warp your paper if you do. Definitely want to make sure not to oversaturate your paper. Okay, this one goes over here where number 10 is. Get our glue. We're place this down here. Okay. Since I'm working with this flip here, I want to stay above this line right here. Okay. Oh good. See it's not sticking all out. 
<coughs> excuse me, out of the side. And that's what you want. You want it to stay hidden because it's not a part of the front decal that we have, the big circle. burnish it then we'll close it and we'll open it this way and burnish it as well okay. yes nice and burnished perfect I love how this one turned out it's like a little puzzle piece but this flips up and out Plus, it folds down like this, so you have these two spaces here, then you have these two spaces here, plus this third space here. So that one turned out nice, and then you have this, these two here, and then you have these two here. Now, let's get our pocket in order. Because we got a tag to put in the pocket. Let's get our papers for that. We have 11. Now, a lot of people don't mark their papers where they go on their, their sheet. I do because I'm very forgetful. And I will forget where that one little piece goes. And I might have to do <clears throat> the whole page before I realize, oh no, that piece don't belong there. It goes somewhere else. That's why I do it. It's not something you have to do. I'm just telling you why I do it, because I'm just very forgetful. So we got that stained glass up front. That is our front piece. Or it could be your back. You just flip it over and make this your front. It's up to you. <clears throat> then we have number 12. Removing that tape backing. Okay. Yeah. Do the same on this side, which is 13. We'll go ahead and remove this tape backing on all four sides. <laughs> if you should accidentally leave a tape backing on, don't worry about it. It's it's human nature. You can always slide your pokey tool in between that area and the paper and it 
it will allow you to lift up the backing and you can pull it right out. Okay. So don't stress over it. You don't have to put anything on there. A lot of people will leave the back of a tag blank. And that's, you know, it's totally up to you if you want to leave it blank or decorate it. Remember, whatever you do, whoever is getting the album will be able to use whatever type of space you leave to put a photo on. Don't stress over that either. So if you run out of paper, don't worry. Leave the back page blank. There we go. Awesome. So that is our tag. Go ahead and put our tag in our pocket. I may have to recut the hole. We'll see. May not have to. do have to just cut a little bit. Um, I don't even have to cut a new hole. Let's see. I think I'm going to pull this out. I'm just going to take my scissors, feel underneath, okay, to the sticky part. Cut that. I should be able to just fold it right down, just like that. And it will stick because that's where we have our sticky paper. And just burnish it real good. There we go. Perfect. And now we can put our tag back in. Perfect. That is our page, folks. I really enjoyed making this one. Again, we have a flip pull. And a flip pull allows you to pull out your flip and you have pages underneath that. Then we have a little flip here. We have our long flip here and we have our pocket with a tag here. I think it turned out beautiful. If you have any <clears throat> questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to have a great day. Bye.